Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, some time back, Archbishop Ole Sapit came out and rebuked William Samuel Rutun for a tribal appointment in his government. He said Kenya is a country with a more than 45, 47 or what, tribes. And because of that, that should be reflected in his administration. He should not go for specific tribes and leave other tribes out. So he was calling on William Ruto to stop tribal appointment. And beside Bishop Olesa Pitt's statement, you, you will agree with me that even our own predetermined constitution recognizes that we are having these all tribes in this country. And because of that, our constitution is very clear that when you are doing appointment in your government, it should reflect all tribes in this country. It should be the face of the country. And that's why you will see to some extent there will be some decision that when you want to do some appointment, it has to go with it. At least get some people from each and every county when you are doing those appointments. He went to an extent of when he's doing his appointment, he go to even other counties, get someone there, but from his tribe. Umeenda kwa mfano kama Transoi. Na waluya wengi kule, sindio? Na hiki utanafuta sasa, mtu wenda kuko mkalenji, you are pointed, nafu sema atuleta Transoia, tukachuka mtu wa Transoia, who is your rift man? Amu kuja bongoma, you do the same. Amu kuja hapa, tuseme na mdaka, narrow count. Chuke kama mkalenji ni hivu. All this was happening. So you would see, would think around and make sure that he's always trying to have his way. So yesterday I saw Dr. Ikura Kot trying to list down some of the people who have been appointed into parastatus by one William Samuel Root, the CEOs. And he came out with a list of more than 32 individuals from one tribe. This has raised a lot of temperature and discussion. People are talking about it. From one ethnic side, you will see them showing their anger and the bitterness towards that kind of post. What I'm wondering is why they never reacted like that when uh, Bishop Olesapit was saying that this. Is it because Bishop, Bishop Olesapit did not come out of the list and they just talked about it generally? And then now a court of court is coming with the list that they are not comfortable with. Amani Kwanini. He don't swali watu wanauliza kwa sasa. So, I wanted to read this list here for you to try and see what is, um, what is a, a, a Kura court looking for with that kind of list is bringing to the people. But before I go deep into that list, just a quick request for those people who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to all our channel subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please, I'm humbly requesting you to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Let us go to that list to see uh, what the Kura Court is trying to tell Kenya. This is what he's saying here. From Kenya Kwanza to, Kalenj to Kalenjin Kwanza. How is this a national government? Number one, CEO Abraham Serem, number two, Kenya Power, sorry, number one, Kenyan CEO Abraham Serem, number two, Kenya Power CEO Joseph Siror, number three, Kenya Pipeline CEO Joe Sang, number four, Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Agency CEO Daniel Kipto, number five, Ketraco Company Secretary Lindia Sitieni, Number six, Kenya Port Authority CEO, William Ruto. <laughs> Look at that. Vakata majina inafanana kweli kweli. Number seven, Kemri CEO, Elijah Songkong. Number eight, Kenya Cooperative Criminalist CEO, Nixon Singay. Number nine, NSSF CEO, David Koros. Number ten, National Cereal and Produce Board CEO, John Getich, number 11, 
Agricultural and Food Authority Chair Cornel Serem. Number 12, Kenya Seed Company CEO Sami Kiplagat. Number 11, Nyayo T Zone CEO Peter Korir. Number 14, Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization CEO Eliud K. Kirege. Number 15, Kenya Meat Commission Chair Joseph Kiptu. Number 16, Kenya Dairy Board CEO Margaret Kibog, uh, Kibori, Kibogi. Number 17, Kenya Animal General Research Center CEO David Kios. Number 18, Export Processing Zone EPZ Chair Mr. Richard Cherioti. Number 19, Kenya National uh, Accredi Accreditation Service CEO Martin Chesire. Number 20, Special Economic Zone Authority CEO uh, Kenneth Chelule. Number 21, Insurance Regulatory Authority CEO Godfrey Kiptum. 22, <laughs> Kenya, de, de, Kenya Deposit Insurance Com, uh, Corporation, CEO Helen Chepchumba Chepkoni, 23 Privatization Commission, CEO Joseph Koske, 24 Directorate General of Information, sorry, Immigration, Evelyn Chenoget, 25 Kenya Space Agency, CEO Hillary Kosige, number 26, Kenya Post Office Serving Bank Chair, Sarah Serem, <laughs> Sarah Serem Ashafika, 27, Kenya Water Towers, Agent CEO, Julius Tanui, 28, Kenya Forecast Research Institute, eh, Kefri, CEO, Joshua Cheboyo, 29, Tourist Regulatory Authority CEO, Nabat Talam. 30, North Rift Valley Water Works Development Agency CEO, Edwin Cherioti Rotich. 31, National Empowerment Authority Chair, Vincent Kigen. And 32, which is the last one, Kenya Pipeline Chair, Faith Boynet. Wakalanyin Top. So they are up to 32. The other truth is that we have about, I think, 20 parasitos in this. Sorry for that. We have about 200 parasitos. So out of 200, 32 already is for one community. But remember, this is the third largest community in this country. And it is tying together with the law community. That means if they have 32, Lua should also be holding to 32 parasitos because they are equal in terms of population according to our last censor. That means then Kikuyu should be many if you are balancing this. They should be the majority. Followed by Luyas. Luo and Kalanjin should tie. And then Canvas should come there after that. Then we have uh, cases come in. Alafizos, Jamizangine, Zinafata, 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 Zinafata. This is not the only one. Talk about police. Who are the majority? And why so? So it tells you tribalism is deeper in this government. And it's because it means the more you serve in power, the more you bring your people in power. Wale wengine wakai hivu. Hawana nafasi ingine. Hawana chakufanya. Hapo na tumefika. So, kabla nuto amaneza ni yaka kumi. Hii tu ni mezi nane. Tumefika hapo. What about after 10 years? What will be the kind of reflection then? Tutakua tuko wapi? So, um, what uh, 
nani anaitwa nani huyu what akuro court was trying to bring here was to put it on record the number of CEOs from Kalenjin nation so that people would understand this is pure tribalism is it a reflection of this country kama wengine katika tu hivyo do you think ada zingine ukiweza kusema weka waki kuyu pale utaweka wangapi maybe 45 when we are then 40 alafu tutabaki na nafasi ngapi out of 200 au wengine watapata ni sasa hii ni kampuni kashaka ndo alisema ni kampuni and ukuru kote standing in Kenya look here indeed this is a limited company ndio maana anasema from Kenya kwanza to college in kwanza alafu au wengine wafate is this the government we are looking for should this be embraced that's what people are saying we need representation in our taxes taxes without representation should be null and void you can tax me then you bring another CEO from some, somewhere else to come and oversee on my tax i should be represented right from my own people from where i come from they sit on that decision making table na hapo ndo mafikia don't know your views but let us meet at the comment section for continuation of this conversation thank you for listening to me up to this far may good god bless you and see you in our next video